the Scottish Highlands are a place of beauty and mystery. They are also the home of that most enduring of Scottish customs, the Highland Games. Every summer, hundreds of towns and villages throughout Scotland play host to this most Scottish of spectacles. Spectators from far and wide come together to watch strong men and women from Scotland and all over the world compete in sports that date back to the earliest days of the clan system. According to legend, Malcolm Canmore, King of Scots, hosted the first gathering in the 11th century. Back then, clan chieftains would select their fiercest clansmen to battle it out in tests of brute strength and speed. Highland Games continued throughout the centuries in one form or another until the 19th century. With the failed Jacobite rebellions came a crackdown on traditional Highland culture, and the Games swiftly went into decline. In fact, they might have disappeared completely if it wasn't for Queen Victoria. During her honeymoon in Scotland with Prince Albert, the Queen famously fell in love with the country and culture. After purchasing Balmoral Castle in Royal Deeside, she single-handedly sparked a revival of the Games by reintroducing the Braemar Gathering in 1832. Today, they are celebrated on a global scale, with Games held in the USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand and South Africa, to name a few. So what actually happens at a modern-day Highland Games? The truth is no two games are exactly the same, but this is how the day typically unfolds. Things kick off with a chieftain's parade, which sees the chieftain of the games lead a procession of pipe bands, athletes and highland dancers, usually from the main square of the local town or village to the games field or arena. The gripping spectacle then gets underway. With heavy weight and athletic events, piping and highland dancing competitions. The caber toss is probably the most famous of the heavy events and what most people picture when they think of the games. Competitors lift a huge wooden pole and try to hurl or toss it in as straight a line as possible. The caber itself is traditionally made from larch, measures around 6 metres in length and can weigh up to 80 kilograms. The distance that the caber travels isn't important. The aim of the game is to toss it over so that it lands in a 12 o'clock position. Another heavy event spectacle is the hammer throw. You've probably already seen this event at the Olympics. The original Scottish version involves the competitor trying to throw a metal ball as far as possible, but instead of a steel wire, the ball is attached to a wooden shaft. This means the Scottish hammer thrower has to keep their feet fixed to the spot. Throwers wear special shoes with metal blades attached to the soles to help them keep their balance. Other popular events include weight for height, where athletes attempt to toss a weight over a horizontal bar using only one hand, and the stone putt, which is very similar to the Olympic event, except athletes are allowed a running start. There are also plenty of track and field events which take place around the Games arena. Many races can be joined by spectators, so you too can be a Highland Games competitor. Then we have Highland Dancing, a discipline which requires just as much endurance and strength as the heavies. Scotland's graceful and highly complex dance is performed on the spot throughout. Some say this harks back to the days when clansmen of old danced it on their studded shields following victory in battle. Others say the dance is a natural evolution of the real danced at Cayley's. Whatever the truth, the sight of agile kilted dancers performing the Highland Fling, Sword Dance and Shown through us is a highlight of the day. And what would a Highland Games be without the bagpipes? Alongside pipe band, drumming and solo piping competitions, there is also the highly prestigious pibroch, the classical form of bagpiping. Evocative and rich, the unmistakable drone of the pipes is the soundtrack to the day. As you can see, 
Highland games take place in a huge variety of settings. But above all, they are a spectacular celebration of community spirit and Scottish identity, as well as a chance for you to partake in the very best in traditional Highland sport, culture and hospitality. For more information about Highland Games, go to visitscotland.com.